All right, welcome to this lesson. Um, this lesson is the basics of evaluating a function. If it tells you to evaluate a function for a given value, um, these are the things you would do to accomplish that. And some people have a hard time getting used to function notation. They're used to um, this here, f parentheses x, meaning f times x. That is not what it means. It just means the function or the operations we're going to do to x the, the name of this function is f. The x tells us which variable we're using. So when we're evaluating, we kind of ignore this left-hand side, and we just look at what the function was. It was x squared minus 2x plus 8. So the function f is telling us when we have a value for x, we square it, um, subtract from that 2 times the value of x, and add 8. When you're evaluating a function, what you want to do is whatever you're evaluating inside the parentheses, you want to go ahead Whatever is inside that parentheses, all you're going to do is replace all of the x's in the function with that number. So again, we had x squared, so if we're doing f of negative 2, we would do negative 2 squared, there's our x squared, minus 2 times x, there's an x again, so again we replace that with a negative 2 plus 8. And then we evaluate that. Be very careful with these squares. Negative 2 squared is a positive 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4, and then we have plus 8. So we've just simplified each part, and now let's combine them. Um, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 8 more is 16. So the value f of negative 2 is equal to 16. And again, what we did is take all, every place there was an x, we replaced it with a negative 2, and then carefully followed order of operations to evaluate that. So let's try this next example, f of 1 third. Okay, f of one-third, a lot of people are a little afraid of fractions, so I put a fraction example on here. But we do exactly the same thing. Our function is still x squared minus 2x plus 8. Um, so we just replace the x's with one-third this time. So we'd have one-third squared minus 2 times one-third plus 8. If we evaluate that, when you square a fraction, you just square the top and square the bottom. So one squared on the top is one and 3 squared on the bottom is 9. So I have 1 ninth minus 2 times 1 third is 2 thirds plus 8. Now if you had a calculator of those fractions, you could easily add those up. If you want to do it by hand, we need to get a common denominator there. So a common denominator of 9, I would have to multiply this 2 thirds by 3 in the top and bottom. And this 8 over 1, I'd have to multiply by 9. Okay, that gives me Instead, I now have 1 ninth minus 6 ninth plus 72 ninth. And now all I have to do is add those fractions or combine those fractions. So 1 minus 6 is going to give me negative 5 ninths. And negative 5 and a positive 72 gives me 67 ninths. Okay, there's my answer. Let's go for another example, C down here. This is f of 2x. So notice this kind of throws us for a loop sometimes because there's not a number there, there's a variable there. You do the same thing. Everywhere there's an x, you replace it with whatever's in the parentheses. So we are going to replace all x's with a 2x. So we're supposed to do the quantity squared minus 2 times the quantity plus 8. And again, we just replace all of those x's with a 2x instead. And then you want to be really careful here because it's easy to forget that when you square 2x, you square both the 2 and the x. So 2 squared is 4 and x squared. Minus 2 times 2 gives us a 4x plus 8. Then we would want to simplify, but we don't have any like terms. We can't add x's to x squared. We can't add constants without x's to things that do have x's, so that one is complete. <clears throat> All 
So our next example here, f of x plus 2, again, you're just taking the quantity and squaring it. That's what our function said, minus 2 times the quantity in the parentheses, plus 8. So our quantity this time is x plus 2, which does provide some difficulty because a lot of times people forget that x plus 2 squared does not mean you square the x and square the 2. It means you're taking x plus 2 times itself. So it's like we're doing x plus 2 times x plus 2. That's a very common mistake people make in algebra. Okay. Here we can just distribute the 2, negative 2x minus 4, and then plus 8. Now we need to do the work on the front there and go ahead and multiply x plus 2 times itself. So a lot of you may know the shortcut for that. Okay, but if all it spells, you FOIL. Um, first, outside, inside, last. So x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. And then we multiply the 2 times everything. 2x plus 2 times 2 is 4. And then we have all of these things on the end, minus a 2x, minus a 4, and plus an 8. Now all we have to do is combine our like terms to get our final answer. So x squared, we only had 1x squared. x's, we had 2, and 2 is 4. Minus 2 is 2x. Uh, our constant, we had 4. Minus 4 would be 0, plus 8 gives us 8. So here is our simplified answer. x squared plus 2x plus 8. We have one final example down here on the bottom. It's 2 times f of x. Notice the 2 is in front of the f of x. That means it's not part of the function. It's something we're going to do to the whole function. Inside the parentheses, we just had an x. So that tells us to just put x's where we had x's. So that doesn't change anything. But the 2 out in front means we're going to multiply the entire function by 2. Okay, so this one's a little different since it's not in the parentheses. Um, it's not what you plug in for the x. It's something you do to the entire function. So we are going to go ahead and multiply everything by 2. And we get 2x squared minus 4x plus 16. And that is our answer. So that gives you five examples of evaluating functions, whether it's a number, a number and a variable, or something out in front, that is the way you would evaluate.